These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great tutorial today for PS3 users that have a modded console. And if you're a retro gamer like I am, I like to use a program called RetroArch. And there's a feature in RetroArch, which I absolutely love when I was playing around with my SNES Classic, and that's called the Rewind feature. If you're not familiar with that, you're basically as you're playing the game, you can push this one button so you, you can rewind in time basically. So let's say you're doing a boss fight, you died, you don't like that, push the rewind button. Maybe you just lost a life in Contra, push the rewind button. And then you can replay that moment again and keep on going and have a lot of good times here. So let me show you how this works. In the video description, I have a link to where you can download the latest package file for RetroArch from the main website. Download it, put it on a USB thumb drive, FAT32, right USB port, and you can install it from the main XMB screen. So let's go ahead first and let's just run the RetroArch program. It works for both Kex and Dex or Rex and D-Rex, however you want to call it. So once you are in RetroArch, it's gonna look just like, very similar to my screen here. So let's go to the second column. And first let's set up the input hotkey. So you go to input, go all the way down to input hotkey binds, and then go down to rewind. Here I have it re uh, mapped already, but let's map it again. So you press X, I'm gonna press the L2 button, and L2 is recognized as number 12. If I wanna do R1, I press R1, is mapped as 13. So I'm gonna go back to 12, our L2, because that's what I like to do. And then next is um, we're gonna do the frame throttle. So go down to frame throttle, go to rewind, Initially, it will be off, so you want to turn it on, toggle it on by pressing X, good. Press circle a couple times, and then let's go back to the first column, go to configuration, and just save the configuration just in case. So when you start the PS3 again, the next time you start RetroArch, these settings will be saved, and you don't have to remap it again, which is awesome. So let's do some quick example gameplay here. So if I go to my load content start directory, let's test a quick NES game, Contra. And I like to use a quick NES emulator or core. And then we'll just get started. So I'm gonna press start. Okay, so just in case, let me just lower the game volume just a tiny bit here. And let's do this. So here I am, jumping, shooting. But let's see I get hit by a bullet or something. Let's see. Oh, I don't like that. What I'm gonna do is press the R2 button because I need all my lives. And guess what? My guy is rewinding. And I can hold it down as long as I want. I can go back to the beginning of the game if I wish. And that's how that works, right? So let me try another example just real quick here. I won't test all the games, but at least you get a, a feel for how this works here. So let's say if I want to do a little content and let's do a Sega real quick, Sonic and Knuckles. Now go to the bottom here, oops, and do this one. So I've tested this so far on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega. I'm sure MAME is fine too. I wouldn't think there should be an issue with Rewind on the other cores, basically. And I don't think it's game dependent, at least in the limited testing I've done. So if that's something you wanna try or wanna play around with in terms of Rewind feature, by all means, go ahead and uh, test it out. So let's say, for whatever reason, I won't rewind and then like the way I did that run or whatever. Now I can do it again. So that's today's video game tutorial using the rewind feature on RetroArch on your modded PS3 console. You guys have any nitpicky questions, let them comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.